Greetings Earthlings, welcome and hello to Geeks Rising. This is my banner and I am Vlog and today is Monday, November 30th, 2015. So this last weekend I ate Taco Bell for three meals. Yeah, that's right, you heard me, three meals I ate at Taco Bell over a two day period. And it got me thinking, if I had to eat one single fast food restaurant for all of eternity, it would absolutely be Taco Bell. So of course, we're gonna go ahead and talk about the history of Taco Bell. Taco Bell was founded by a hero that goes by the name of Glenn Bell. But prior to Glenn discovering this food of the gods, he had a hot dog stand, and then he expanded, and then he had a hot dog and a hamburger stand, and all of this was done in San Bernardino, California. While he was running these food stands, he noticed a Mexican food restaurant that was getting a huge following so he started eating there a lot and then in 1951 or 1952 he got them to open up and share their secrets about what they were doing and then in 1951 or 1952 I don't know the exact date Glenn Bell started a new food stand called Taco Tia so for a while Glenn was running a couple of Mexican food restaurants but then in 1962 he sold those off to his partner and then he started the very first Taco Bell in Downey California the company grew in popularity so so fast that within five years they already had 100 restaurants and then in 1970 only eight years after they started when they had 325 restaurants they went public then eight years after they went public in 1978 they were bought out by PepsiCo moving forward six years in 1984 Taco Bell got a little crazy and they introduced the taco salad then on their website they also say they introduced the Taco Bell Grande but I think what they meant to say is nachos Bell Grande but I don't know I wasn't even born yet then in 1989, the year that Tim Burton's Batman movie came out, Taco Bell lined up their marketing with the promos for the Batman movie. This was hugely successful and it made them pioneers in this marketing strategy. Then just one year later, they did something very important to any Taco Bellite like myself. They introduced the value menu where they had 59, 79, and 99 cent items. Then five years later, as if we didn't know, Taco Bell was already one of the raddest and one of the tightest and one of the most tubular things to ever exist, they decided to fund the very first ESPN X Games. How tight is that? Then in 2001, Taco Bell did something even more amazing. At this time, the MIR space station was going to re-enter Earth's atmosphere and crash into the ocean. So what Taco Bell did, they put a target in the middle of the South Pacific, and if the space shuttle or any parts of the space shuttle hit this target, every single person in the United States would get a free taco. Unfortunately, nothing hit the target, so nobody got free tacos. Another couple years later, 2004, Taco Bell decides to introduce Baja Blast. I'm not a fan, but this is a groundbreaking thing. Everybody loves Baja Blast. Then as if they had not done enough for us, in 2005, they freaking release the Crunchwrap Supreme, which is one of the greatest inventions in food that has ever existed. I think it's safe to say that Taco Bell has done some amazing things, but I think what's most amazing and interesting and, and engaging about Taco Bell is this relationship and love that they have developed between themselves and Dylan Francis. Seriously guys, if you have not looked this up, go on Twitter and search for Dylan Francis and Taco Bell and see the way that they talk to each other. It's just beautiful, it's amazing. And I want to be Dylan Francis just so I can have this kind of relationship with Taco Bell. Then finally, in this year of 2015, Taco Bell has initiated delivery service in certain areas and I cannot wait for this to make it to wherever I'm living. I may have to move to a place that this is currently existing because I long to be able to be a complete sloth and a complete recluse and never leave my house and just eat Taco Bell all the time. So guys, what is your favorite Taco Bell item? You gotta let me know in the comments down below. I'm dying to know. Personally, probably a Crunchwrap Supreme or maybe a Double Decker if I'm feeling pretty tame that day. But I guess that will do it. If you enjoyed the video, found it interesting or informative, or you just love Taco Bell, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you thought the video sucked or you hate Taco Bell, give me a thumbs down. But I know that nobody hates Taco Bell. Everybody loves it. And if you want more of these videos, click subscribe or click in the logo in the corner. And I will see you all on Thursday. Thanks for watching. See you later. Bye.